Hey, welcome to Integrative Preparedness. I'm Steve Smith. <clears throat> welcome to everybody. Welcome to all the new people. We keep having new people join. That's great. It's great to have you all here, both on YouTube and on Patreon. If you're not on Patreon with us yet, please come over. I invite you over. I put all the cool stuff over there. I, I put good stuff here, but the really, you know, the, the kind of stuff that I can't put on YouTube or don't want to or or for whatever reason be taken down or demonetized or attract the idiots you know i put it on patreon it's kind of a kind of the vip lounge of integrative preparedness world um, join us if you would like the link is down below just hit the link come on over what is it patreon.com slash integrative preparedness <clears throat> one strike and you're out what does that mean um you know, I think we have a lot of people uh, in the so-called preparedness world who, while ostensibly dealing with reality or something that could get real, 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 real fast, uh, don't really deal with it being real now right i know that you're all nodding at different things that you can think of and saying what 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 do you think he's he's talking about well i got up uh, i was going through my normal routine this morning drinking coffee and checking the news and then i was in uh, the process of writing on the the sixth book no i haven't decided on a title on it yet uh, but it's coming along fast um and I was writing, and then uh, something went off on my phone. And for those of you who don't know, I write my books on my phone. So I got a ding, and there was a, uh, a video, showed me there was a video up from Guns Coast to Coast. Now, there are a few people that whenever I get a ding that they have a video up, I immediately watch it, if I, if I possibly can, or I'll watch it as soon as I can. And Guns Coast to Coast is one of them. If you don't watch Guns Coast to Coast, you should. He is one of the true thinkers in uh, in YouTube land. Um, and it was uh, it was something about uh, we, we we let we cleared out the prisons or we cleared out whatever. I, at first, I thought it was going to be something about Castro and and how um, you know they dumped all their prisoners on on Jimmy Carter. Uh, or something having to do, but what it was, he explained that he had in in celebration of the uh, the 338, the anniversary of the 338. I guess I'm not a, I'm not a rifle guy, so I'm, if I'm wrong, forgive me. Um, he was letting 338 people out of his banned or blocked jail, people that he had banned and blocked, and. Uh, and he was letting all those uh, don't worry i'm going to get around to how this this pertains and it does pertain to preparedness and more than preparedness survival because it it's it's a real lesson uh so he, he said he was letting all those out well i i told him um i, I sent him a, uh, i put a comment on there i said well <laughs> you're a lot nicer than i am and he said dad don't worry the people are going to come back and show show what they're about pretty pretty quick well what i what i was thinking about what i was meaning he is a lot nicer than i am uh it doesn't take much for me to block somebody or ban somebody it takes once and um how does that apply to survival it applies perfectly okay um you know, any of us who, who make videos, we get morons coming on and saying things. You know, some some really off the wall things, but some are just rude or argumentative or combative or, or you know, whatever it is, the tone or the words is it's simply negative. It's disrespectful and all that. Uh, it doesn't take much for me to block that person. I, I don't just remove the comment. I, I block them. Why? You know, some people have said, my wife says, leave them on. They're showing, you know, just let everybody see how stupid they are. That, that's that's not the point. I don't, I don't care to give these people a showcase so the world can laugh at them and show how stupid they are. Uh, I get, I don't find stupid people humorous. Well, sometimes. Sometimes we all do, right? Sometimes we do. But no, not in this case. I don't have time for that stuff. And I have learned that on the rare occasion when I gave somebody a pass, it didn't take long 
for me to see that I shouldn't have, right? Uh, you know, you guys, and you girls, y'all, you women. Uh, you remember, remember an old girlfriend, maybe, or for you ladies, an old boyfriend that you broke up with, and and then, you know, they, then a few days go by, or a week, or whatever it is, you know, uh, whatever amount of time, and, and uh, all of a sudden you get that phone call, or that... Uh, they're showing up at your house or a note on your car, you know. Um, can't we just try again? I'm so sorry. I'll change. I'll, you know, blah, blah, blah. <laughs> and, you know, when you're young and dumb, or it might have to do with, you know, a couple of other things that I won't get into this being a family show. Um, you go, okay, all right, all right, you know. And, and, and you, you know, you start thinking about oh, the good memories, this and that, and, and you kind of forget about the other stuff, right? So you go back. Well, it doesn't take you long to be reminded why you broke up in the first place, does it? <laughs> no, it doesn't. <laughs> oh, our human frailties. Um, so how does this apply to preparedness and survival well you know i don't know if i got i guess i could make a case if i wanted to think about it a long time about preparedness but i have a lot of work to get done i got to get out to the garden i've got a lot of work to do in the garden today and got to get back to writing on the book and stuff like that so i just want to talk about survival because when everything goes to pot when everything crashes um you know how many chances you're gonna have if you say the wrong thing or do the wrong thing, one, one. I mean, there's there's certain subsets of in, in, in our society right now. Do you just get one? Right? We live in a society that, for the most part, is so nice that people just let people act however they however they want to. They can get by with being rude and argumentative and combative and insulting and all this kind of stuff. And people just let let it go, which is why those people continue to act that, that way. Right? Okay? Because nobody called them on it. You know, some people would have done them a big favor when they were younger by calling them on it. Maybe they would have given them a better life so that they don't go through life with, you know, a, a reputation of being an a-hole. You know, but as you have, I'm sure, I've known some people who actually were proud of their a-hole status. You know, that's that's a special kind of special kind of sickness there. But anyway, that that is a good lesson. Um, when when it gets real, you don't you don't have a lot of chances. Everything you do, everything you say, the tone of what you say the tone of your voice the look in your eye you know uh, can in cases be the difference between life and death and I know there's a lot of people out there right now going well I don't know how that could be well <laughs> I, you're the one who's gonna learn it because it really is the truth you know there's there's probably no better many of us were raised fairly strictly when it comes to manners right courtesy and uh, those who were found that it served them well those who weren't <clears throat> they go through life offending and uh, you know with the excuse well I'm just being honest I'm just being real I'm just being me I'm just being this and I'm just being that well you go ahead and be you because if you want to be you in the wrong situation you ain't gonna be you much longer Okay. For those who know what I'm talking about, I don't have to explain it anymore. For those who don't know what I'm talking about, I couldn't explain it enough to make them. Right? Okay. I just had to, to say that because because that was such a such an immediate and an obvious lesson in uh, in survival. So y'all go over and watch uh, watch. Uh, guns coast to coast he's a smart one and you'll get a lot of it and while I'm thinking about it let me plug a few more people ask me which ones which ones do you watch and so I'll, I'll throw them in here I don't watch very many to be honest I I've seen most of them okay so 
so in this case this is one of those cases um, you know there's no need for you to come in and say have you seen so and so have you seen so and so or you missed so and so no I probably have I've, I've seen them and and if I don't mention them it's on purpose probably probably um, I, I could miss one or two not on purpose I watch uh, Guns Coast to Coast I watch Zombie Farmer I watch Real World Prepper I watch Viking Preparedness um, I watch Corsair Trainers and who else? That's about it, to be, to be honest. I'm not saying that there aren't some things that pop up occasionally from other people um, who I have found that, that I think they give good information. And uh, uh, Pat Mack, occasionally something will come up on him. I go, yep, that's right. Um, that, that's for for the most part. Those are the things I watch, just in case you were interested. Look, you all have a good day. Remember that we prepare well today in order to live well tomorrow. And a very important part of preparedness is behavior, preparing right, knowing how to act, knowing how to communicate with people in a way that doesn't get you either banned, thumped, or killed. Okay. Y'all have a good day. I'll talk to you later. Bye-bye.